I'm Tom from Cotswold Outdoor in Harrogate, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Salomon Men's Quest 4 Gore-Tex. Now on the fourth iteration of their classic best-selling boot, the Men's Salomon Quest 4 Gore-Tex uses a contra-grip outsole, which is very, very grippy and gives great traction in undulating terrain and soft conditions, as well as their ADVC 4D chassis, which gives great stability. The latest Quest 4, has of course got the same Gore-Tex membrane to keep your feet dry even in the worst conditions. Another feature of the Salomon Quest 4 Gore-Tex is the great support that you get from the ankle cuff. You can lace it in different ways, make sure that you get that support that you need for longer hikes as you start to push your distance or go into uncharted terrain uh, without any pressure. Some customers will instantly be turned off by that even though the fact is when they put it on their foot it wouldn't really be a big deal. And if it was a big deal, there's loads of different lacing techniques we can do in store to be able to lessen that because some people have never had that level of support before need to build into it. So instead of buying a shoe that's low and then not having anywhere to go as they increase their distance, we can show different lacing techniques to either take the pressure off the top bit or, or um, just, uh, just not use those eyelets altogether whilst people go out walking and then build into it. The human foot will sweat something crazy, like 300 mil of moisture just in a few hours of trekking. That moisture's gotta go somewhere. It will sweat because you've got a solid membrane on top of it. So the best thing you can do is have quality socks. Quality socks will do three things. They will move moisture away from the skin. So at the end of the day, you peel off the sock and it is full of your sweat. But what you haven't done is got macerated skin and then leading onto blisters, which you would get wearing like normal cotton socks or something that can't wick the moisture away, can't move it away from the surface of the skin. It also lofts in the right places and compresses in the right places so that it will give you a, a nicer fit and it'll be much more comfortable. And of course, the other thing it does is give you cushioning. That's really, really important because you're not necessarily gonna get that from the, or enough of that from the boot. And that's why you've got padded zones within good quality socks as well. So if you want to improve the breathability, you need to buy better socks. On the day you buy it, it is completely waterproof. It's about how you treat it. And something like that, something that's got mesh, which you wear it on a honking day, it's not the water that's gonna kill it, it's all the dirt particles that get washed in with it because then those dirt particles grate against the Gore-Tex membrane and then that wears a hole in it and it's no longer waterproof. And that's why you need to really look after lightweight models. And I say look after in terms of using the Nikwax fabric like cleaning gel, in terms of using, let me grab, let me grab it, let me grab it. The Nikwax cleaning gel with a green top, using something like uh, the Proofer by Nikwax as well. There are lots of different types available with a purple top. Um, this has got leather on it, so this is perfectly fine to use the waterproofing wax for leather model. Uh, yeah, so it's really important to look after them. And of course, part of looking after them is not like absolutely smashing them regardless of the weather, because if you do take them out on the honking days and you do get lots of dirt like in between those layers of mesh, then obviously it's gonna prematurely wear the, the mesh out, but then also the Gore-Tex lining. Thanks very much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button.